हाई गाइज जॉइनिंग अ बी स्कूल इज वन द मेन प्रॉब्लम फॉर एवरी वन की विल आई बीबल टू सर्वाइव अर नॉट सो टूडे वी हैव विद मैन विद हूम वी गुल टॉक एंड डिस्कस थ्री थिंग्स विच शी थिंक आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग यू शुड नो सो दैट वी कैन सर्वाइव द कॉपरेट जंगल बिफोर वी जॉइन द जंगल वी कूड वी शुड लर्न Hi guys, we have today with us uh, Preeti Ma'am. So Preeti, Dr. Preeti is the uh, campus head of IBS Mumbai. So Ma'am, we want you to come on board for this video on our side of the table rather than seeing you in a very formal way, sitting on the other side as a head. Okay. So Ma'am, uh, the moment a student come to campus, he is a normal man. This polished look will come after he joins the B school. Right. Okay. So what do you think I should do as a student who is just coming into the campus? Yeah. Uh, what are your expectations from me before I join the campus? Are there any any other? You should know all these things before you come here. Okay. So, what are the things which will number one a make me a good MBA, and something which I can do now because there is a gap. But before you join the college, there is a three four months ka gap, and the student taking a gap here to prepare for MBA as well. They have sure. huge time. So, yeah. what should I do? Yeah, my message to all the students, you know, when I address them in my uh, opening uh, remarks, uh, right, when I welcome them, first thing I say is come with a very open mind. Students come with a lot of baggage, and most of the time they are myths which actually reduce their probability of having some great opportunities the moment they pass out their management uh, qualifications. So I tell the students come with a very open mind and be ready to accept these suggestions because the faculty members, the uh, the placement managers, the staff around is highly experienced, you know, and they know they've seen batches after batches uh, passing out, and they know what is a successful student and what is a student who's going out with uh, with you know not a sufficient uh, value addition after completing the two years program. so if they if they come with an open mind and listen to the kind of cues that come from everyone in the campus you know they will get highly benefited so uh, the first criteria is come with an open mind be willing to stretch yourselves the more you are willing to work longer work harder you will be able to differentiate yourself from rest of the students who then feel that i am doing this qualification in anticipation that it's going to help me but the person who puts in a lot of effort and hard work in addition to what the faculty inputs are are the ones who are more successful super so basically trying to say come with the open mind like a lot of people come with the already a mindset yeah i'm already smart yeah maybe i'm good in this i'm already good in this and i don't want to learn something new yes. so come with the open mindset yes stay hungry kind yes. of thing okay yes. i want to learn everything yes. see this is the mistake which i did as well i was aversive to finance hmm. i don't know why but there was a mental block maybe because i'm punjabi to kehta ki punjabi or fin accounts ka koi janta nahi hai so that was something which i learned later on when i started working because my first project was into finance right so that's where then i had to study finance again okay. what i have not studied earlier right, right. so come the open mindset yes. superb so is there any expectation from the com skills as well because the moment you think of a mba is mean good english right now so i i keep telling students that the moment you have this badge of mba or you are a, a management student you know who who's put in two years of uh, business education uh, learning business education the expectation of everyone around you changes you know, they are ready to compromise on certain things with people who come with a non mba tag but those who are management graduates the expectation whether it is corporate or it is the world around or it is your colleagues or it is your friends you know that management is required to do something to you which perhaps from other pg programs it may not be accepted or it may not be required or demanded and there i say you know the the communication skills certain things are non negotiable when the companies come on campus they are ready to accept people with lesser domain knowledge but something that they are not ready to accept is if people are not able to speak if students are not able to communicate brilliant engineering students that i get you know they are they can solve all aptitude problems they can think differently they come with an analytical bent but if they are not able to express themselves or if they are not able to impress the panel members 
then even if the student has cleared an aptitude round, he fails in the group discussions and he's out in the second stage itself. So forget reaching the, the PI stage, you know. So companies um, will always say that no compromise on communication skills. And that is where you see any of our module starting from semester one. At IBS, we start emphasizing on English language proficiency. We start emphasizing on grammar. We start emphasizing on spoken, written um, uh, English language along with non-verbal. So there is a lot, you know, if all other subjects, I may be having 33 sessions, but for soft skills, for com business communication, I have something like 40 sessions. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of, uh, you know, we have um, the, the emphasis and the importance that we attach to uh, communication skills, knowing what the corporate demands. Right. So uh, one thing is, which is very uh, good for me to hear is that there are people who are not, not everyone is trained in English. Mm -hmm. Some of them who have participated in the inter-college events, this and that during their school days, yeah. they are good in English. Some of them are. Okay. And most of us have to be improved. Yes. So this is, onus is on, obviously college is there to help you out, but okay. onus is not student to improve. True. And you know, we appreciate the honesty of a student who comes and says, Ke English mein mera haath tang hai. You know, when the student comes and says, Ke English mein mera haath tang hai, can you help? We have a language lab. The language lab, the first exercise is that the student is made to sit and hear his own communication. So when he hears his own communication, he realizes what impact he's having on somebody else who's listening to him. So there he, there itself, he realizes that, okay, this is the journey now I have to travel. And then the kind of support that comes from language trainers, English trainers, soft skills trainers, uh, which happens in the language lab. But the student has to accept, you know, that I need help there. And uh, then you be ready to travel that path along with our trainers, along with our faculty members. And uh, we are very sure that, you know, with the kind of exercises that we do with the students on communication skills or the kind of uh, newspaper reading habits, you know, which we actually tell them read aloud, you know, you sit and read newspaper loudly and um, start uh, discussing, start talking to your faculty and your friends only in English. So we see students coming from vernac, uh, uh, you know, they come from those vernacular backgrounds. But within a semester, we see the change in uh, in students, and I think that's the power of the management education. Right. So it's, 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 we, none of us have a mother tongue as English. Most yes. of us don't yes. have a mother tongue. But right. this can be learned. This language can, can be learned. So Amitabh Bachchan's dialogue, no, I can I walk in English, talk in English. Yes. This is exactly what you have to do. <laughs> True. Because the moment you see an yeah. MBA tag, this yeah. means uh, overall yes. personality and com skills is part of that. Yes. Yes. You hate it or like it, India may run, India may corporate world may come, karna, English is must. Correct. The, the companies say, you know, especially the consulting firms, um, they, they are actually looking at a combination of analytical skills and communication skills, both, you know. So, so when they say, you know, students are very good at analytical skills, but they say, what will they do if they are not able to face the client? These are all client facing roles audit firms you are auditing you are going and sitting with a client and if you are sitting with a client and you are not able to talk to the client then no matter whatever amount of paper audit you do unless and until you are able to communicate with the client there we can't accompany the person so you may be having the domain knowledge you may be but if you're not able to communicate with the client how are we going to run our business so uh, though they are analytical roles though they are audit roles but they want that uh, people should have excellent communication skills um, whether they are facing the client in person or they are communicating with them virtually through emails or through any other mode of communication correct okay any third point you would like to add which is important for me to uh, learn here or come already prepared see uh, management education also is a combination of domain knowledge soft skills and when i'm saying soft you know how are you as an individual how are you as an individual because when you go and work in a company that individuality is something you know which of course the first assessing happens when you talk but there is also how you are responding to the situation you know which could be a little bit to do with personality and a little bit to do with your character and uh, you know something to do with uh, how you are going to work in teams so people are very good individually 
but the moment it comes to team dynamics uh, very difficult to accommodate other people's views or accommodate uh, you know decision that could be something which uh, is not going uh, with you know what you have been thinking but uh, there i say you know that if you have to work in a team you should be open to listening to ideas and have a lot of space to accommodate views of others rather than saying that i am right you are wrong and and these are the things which create complications which may even result in delay in uh, giving the kind of output you know so people will just sit and keep procrastinating over it you know um, my view not accepted this one biasness and all kinds of negative you know toxic emotions start coming so um, we try to inculcate that habit into students that when you are working in teams when you are working with people who you may not be seeing face to face you may be interacting with people of different cultures so when you are talking to people who are overseas in uh, in some different time zones different cultural backgrounds financial backgrounds how are you going to be accepted and accept them so that you know that openness again it will go with that same thing that i say that come with an open mind and cultivate that and, or, and if you don't have then come out of those inhibitions reservations you know something that is making you very very narrow minded you know so uh, come out of that dogmatic personality you know and you will be able to become very successful and i have seen in my own journey and i i have seen my alumni uh, you know who who are now dealing with a whole lot of countries simultaneously and they come back and they say you know that that respect for others and other cultures and other views you know other people's views is something that's helping us sustain ourselves in the roles that we are superb so ma'am if i try to summarize everything in one word is basically learn learn you are here to learn mm -hmm. so you learn don't come with any kind of a bias don't come with any kind of a uh, Uh, positivity or negativity both ways Correct. it can work, work both ways Correct. and mm -hmm. you are here to learn two years ka time you have yes. all of us know your strengths and weaknesses yes. and then we just need to work on them correct express yourself you know i i mean i'm saying that express yourself and don't hold back things with you know the fear of uh, i could be wrong so i'm um, i'm holding myself back no learn to um, face uh, uh, failures learn to face uh, you know there is a there is a possibility that when you express there could be somebody else with a similar mindset as yours but if you are not speaking then you really don't know how many people are on your side and how many are not in you know, so. perfect Thank you and thank you very All much right. for talking yeah. to us. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.